here we are at Monchit. What are we doing at Shadow Jack Market, you might ask? <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. With the ever-expanding MRT, there's more options than ever before, especially for a home base. Maybe a small but functional place to call home when you're here. So the MRT extension opens up a lot more options. And we're going to check one out today. There's JJ Park right there. Beautiful oasis in the traffic mayhem. The next stop is in the Taupoon Purple Line, which is just a couple of stops away. Let's go. By the way, we're here at midday during the week. It can get very crowded during rush hour time. We hear a train right now. Oh, well, that's not ours. That one goes to that one goes to Lat Pro. We want this one. It goes to Taupo. A couple stops away. Station. Please find the gap between train and platform. You see as the MRT continues to expand, so does condominiums, etc. And the prices go down the further you go out. This one's starting from 3 million baht. I've looked at a few condos in this area, especially at this junction, and if you're looking for something with a pool, a gym, 12,000 baht in something new and decent anyways. You can get an old Thai style apartment for 3,000 baht a month, but I'm not really interested in that. So, the further you go out, the better the deals get. So let's go just a wee bit further. Up one escalator, and here we are at the purple line. Again, midday here, so it's pretty quiet. Blue line to JJ, Chatter check, purple line. Big, wide purple line trains, love them. The big windows, you'll see in a minute. And here we are at Saimaa Station. <laughs> and here's the place that caught my eye. Little backstory. I have some friends who live out this way. And on my way out there, I saw a sign on a brand new building. It said 4,500 baht. This one has a rooftop swimming pool, gym. It won't be for everybody because it's further out, but let's go have a look. Sorry. Co working space? Yes. Okay. Have Wi Fi? <laughs> Have. Free? Yes. Okay. Is it fast? Why, why? <laughs> Smart marketing. The target audience here of Thai office workers. Ooh, up. Ooh, electric door. Here we go. Okay, sofa, end table, K 
kitchen. That's where your TV would go. Brand new aircon. Our storage here. And there. Kind of like this, so if you're cooking, you, the smells stay out there. Kitchen looks functional. That's where the fridge would go. Balcony. And the bedroom. Mirror there. Another aircon. Desk. Big bed. I kind of like that uh, desk there. A pseudo river view. Closet. Enough size. And the bathroom. I don't have the lights on currently, but you get the idea. Nice, new, and modern. And the shower. I don't know if you can see that. Hot shower. Separate shower door. Nice, you don't get water everywhere. Perfect. Right. Bathroom, living room. It's pretty small, but very functional, as you can see. Well, this won't work for everybody, but for some, it could be ideal. Right, can we see the pool and gym? Pool floor, 37, yeah? Big pool. Pool with river view. Free weights, good selection too. The benches, incline, more machines, fantastic. That's a cardio with a river view. Wow. So this is extra if you want the pool and the gym. Chill area up here. Okay, let's check some price options. Okay. 
Bye bye. <laughs> so that was decon. Again, it won't be for everybody, but if it is for you, maybe you want to see what the hood looks like. Let's check it out. And just like that, here we are at Central Ratanabet Shopping Mall. It's got a cinema, super sports, groceries, department store, you name it. Even a fitness, uh, fitness first too. Not that you'd need it. You guys see them advertising? There you go. New Superlight building. They make good buildings. 1.09 million baht. I'll put the uh, price conversion on the screen. So I'm not usually a huge fan of Starbucks, but nice to have in the hood. For Starbucks. 115 for Americano. I think it's 125 in Sukhumbeet, if I'm not mistaken. It's 115 here. If you don't like Starbucks prices, you'll love Cafe Amazon's prices. Espresso, 40 baht. Not bad. Sales galore. There's three floors here too, by the way. You even got a market in the mall. How do you like that? How do I? Smells fantastic. Meat on a stick, 10 baht. Choose three for 100. Three dollars, basically. <laughs> Don't eat that. Even fresh veggies. Just over a buck for a broccoli. Our contribution to the Asian culture. <laughs> and of course, Tops Market. Do they have green beans? Like, I can't live without green beans. This store is a little bit more expensive. There's a big sea across the street, and there's a superstore one more stop away. So, if you want lower prices, go to one of those. Big pack of smoked ham. 99 baht, 3 bucks. Nice salad bar. Love this. Mango and sticky rice. As if marketing couldn't get any more annoying. <laughs> There's even a diner right in the center of the store. For breakfast, 79 baht, not bad. Oh, chicken breast, pork chop, salmon steak. Classic. Local yogurt price, 15 baht. Here's a quarter milk, 95 baht, about three bucks. Well, no, two and change, something like that. I'll put the price up on the screen. Big meat department, really lacking nothing. Imports are going to be more expensive, of course. Fresh salmon. You can get the imported Norwegian salmon or you get the local fish, up to you. 
Chang here is 33. For the small. Leo, 35 for the small. Pay 220 baht. Crazy, right? Just make your own. Get all the local ingredients to make that easy. And better, too. You got your Waitrose in Hines, Carolina, and you Hines, Texas. And the prices. These are three bucks. The grill mates, that's not bad. The parents. HP. Anyways, I like Tops. It's a great little market. And it's only one stop away from that place, so. And Power Buy. They're a little bit more expensive, but let's have a quick look. Home goods, electronics, and whatnot. Samsung 9000 BTU, 139. 12,000 BTU, that would do just about any average size room. 15.9. Kun installation? Ah, Kun buyer? Free, free. Free, free installation. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Electrolux washer, anybody? 14.9. Nice little fridge there, 7,900, 8,000. It's not that strong. Oh, I see. Okay, so the other one's yeah, better so construction. Can can I keep the cold longer? Yeah, longer. Okay. You can get as fancy as you want. Call it thirty thousand for that. And of course, TVs. Thirty-two for that big guy. It's like a thousand dollars. Cheap and cheerful. Thirty-two inch. Eighty-four hundred baht. Smart TV. Android built in. Or a fifty inch. Call it ten thousand baht. Can't vouch for the brand, but it looks alright. No slug when it comes to TV, I'm sure. <laughs> Lighting, patio furniture, kitchens, bathrooms, you name it. There's also cheaper DIY stores similar to what you'd have back home. We've got an equivalent of a Home Depot here as well. Several different kinds actually. So if you want better prices, there's a, there's a couple just down the road as well. Coffee shops, etc. on the second floor. Mezzo, they make a good coffee. Hey, there you go. Studio 7 for any Mac users. I use an Android phone, but I use a Mac laptop. And Boots. Chemist, not a pharmacy. Don't you know? UK chain. Robinson's has a furniture department, too. I didn't realize that. E2S. This is a stationary shop. It's quite a good one, too, actually. And they also have chairs for sale, I see. Santa Fe. This place is cheap, and I mean cheap. Look at that. Get a pork chop combo. 109 baht. It's like three bucks for all that. I can't vote for the quality, but the pictures sure look good. <laughs> I've never actually eaten here. I know it's popular. Hey, they even got a Fuji. My favorite Japanese restaurant. Fantastic. Good quality Japanese at fairly reasonable prices. The Pizza Company. Owned by Bill Heineke, He's an American that did well for himself. He came here with nothing. And he built an empire, which includes the pizza company. I have a whole bunch of others. I'll list it below. <laughs> I didn't notice they had this before. Ribs, $3.59. Came the Beaker's Pork Chop, $1.99. Not bad. German sausage, salads, shrimp pasta. Classic Carbonara, 139 that's not bad, is it? And of course, the pizzas. There's the prices. Wait, there's more! We've got a theater with Thai subtitles, the Western ones. It's popular. I wonder if they're as outrageously expensive as back home. Let's have a look at the prices. Yep, crazy prices. 95 for a drink, 44 ounce. Gourmet popcorn, 120 for a large. But here's something you don't have back home, a sausage combo set. If you soft drink your popcorn, two sausages, corn sticks, 339. SF Cinema. Deluxe double seats, how much are they? 450 for the Sweet Sofa Duo. 140 for the Premium Plus, and 120 for the economy size, or <laughs> the regular size. So really this neighborhood, Comes fairly well equipped, doesn't it? I mean, you're missing the. Uh, if you're liking the bar scene and the action of Laura Sukumvit, then this won't be for you. Unless you're only going down there, say, once a week or something like that. 
then you stay out here for 200 bucks a month, go into town, pay, what is it, 40 baht, 45 minutes, one way, take a Bolt taxi on the way back for 100 baht, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so this of all the places you can eat here, so I only saw a small fraction of them. Look, I missed a place called Cheeseburger. How can I miss that? <laughs> Somewhere in here is a place called Cheeseburger. Nighttime here. I just want to show you. You can see there's Central Plaza right there. And just down here is a pretty awesome night market. One of two in the area. Let's have a look. The first thing we see is Suki Tinoi. It looks very busy. Not only very busy, this is the waiting area to get a table. Wow. Check this out. Okay, well this is unexpected. Since 1960. I wonder if they parked that car in there then. How the staff feel when they see this, their job, their future job rolling around. This is what they do in the burbs. Alright, see you later, Frank. Off to the market then. Okay, we're at the Owl Market right behind Tinoy. The first thing we see. Is your local bud dealer. Sour Diesel, Rainbow, Mosa, Gorilla. <laughs> 300 for one gram. No, 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 I don't smoke no more. I'm tired of waking up on the floor. Okay, nine dollars. <laughs> Kakumaka. <laughs> wow. So it goes all the way down there. This reminds me of Chiang Mai University Market and all the way down there. I guess we'll just go down this way. Well, you know those socks you get on Suk and Beat that are four for 100? Seven for 100. <laughs> Electronic gadgets, glasses, 49 baht. So when somebody comes up to you on the beach and says they want 500 baht for these glasses, that'll give you an idea. <laughs> get your nails done, always popular. And again, this is a, a Tuesday evening. Still, lots of people around. Wow. Song Si Gao. 249 baht for all of this and goom. Aroi mai. Cup and cup. No end of eateries in here. I think if you came here on a weekend, this place would be heaving. Of being midweek. It's good though, lots of room to move. A little bit busy down that way. And busier down this way. Get your squid on. 20 baht for those. 80 baht. Two for 150. Cup, cup. <laughs> What do you got? There's your uh, Tang Mo Pan. How much? Yi Pa Bot. Wow, 25 baht for Tang Mo Pan. Watermelon shake. I feel like such a Luddite. All the Thais are using digital apps to pay. I've got true money. I'm not sure if it works with that. It just goes to show you how advanced Thailand's getting. Oh, it's a prompt pay app they're using. Okay, I think I can pay. 20 baht. It smells delicious. That line cup. Sea ship. Okay, cup cup. So the other side of the market here, it kind of turns into a flea market. Garage sale, boot sale, whatever you want. This reminds me of that place up John TM, Tepperset Market. Yeah, that's it. Man, if this is what it's like on a weekday, I wonder what it's like on the weekend. Let's just get jumping. So if I was to sum up, I would say this place reminds me of Chiang Mai Uni meets Tepperset Market. 
<laughs> See, no elephant pants here. Only tourists wear those. These are what ties wear. Now those are cool. <laughs> Need some car parts? Of all sorts here. Need a chair? Need some shoes? Just for perspective, there's the mall we were at earlier. And here's the entrance to this fantastic owl night market. Right. I think that's it. So, would you move here? Comment below. I'm curious to know. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye for now.